Hello and welcome to Technical Skills YouTube channel. This is Shafaqat Ali with another video of Android development. Today I am going to start a new video series on Google Map. So now in this video we will learn how we can create the Google Map projects and also we will create the Google Maps APIs and we will configure our project with Google Map APIs. So first of all we will create our new Android Studio project. So here we need to click on create new project. Here I will select empty activity. You can also select any activity. You can see here we have also Google map activity, but we will select this activity later on next videos. So select this empty activity and click on next. And here you can choose your application name. Let's say I select Google map and here you need to select our package and select the language and also you can select over API level. So here I will select the API level 23 and click on finish. So this is empty project. We will configure Google map in this project. So first we need to create the APIs of Google map. So open your browser and open Google and here we need to search Google map SDK. Okay, open our first link. Okay, now here when we click on existing project, here we will get the documentation of configuration of Google map in our Android studio. So first of all, we have to generate our API key. So here we need to click on get API key. Okay, now click on go to console. Okay, click on console. And here we have to select our account. Let's say I select my account. For Google map, you need to enable Google billing. Otherwise you can't use full functionality Google map APIs like Google directions. So here you can see we have notice your free trial is waiting. Activate now to get 300 credit to explore Google product, Google cloud products. It's mean if you have a MasterCard that used for online shopping, you need to add the information of your MasterCard in Google to get $300 for one year for free trial. You can use that $300 for one year to explore the Google products. So here I will select the my country and click on term and conditions and click here. This is my new account. I have already enabled my free trial. So I just want to show how we can activate this free trial. So click here activate. So here you have to select your country and click here and click on continue. So here you have to enter your MasterCard information here and click on next and start free trial. So your trial will be start. So now I want to show the free trial here. I have account in this account. I have already started my free trial. As you can see here, I have already started my free account. So now I will select on credentials and I want to show how we can generate our API key for our projects. So click on credentials and here we have to select over any key. So let's say I select map SDK for Android. And click on enable. Okay, now click on credentials. And here you can see here I have API key one that is already generated. So now I want to show how we can create new one. So here we have to click on 
Credential API services. Okay, now here click on create credentials and click on API key. And here you can see we have created new API key. So click on restrict key. And over key is ready now. You can give the name of this API key. And here you can restrict your API key like you want to run on HTTP preferences, like you want to run this API key in Android in Android apps. Mean this key is only used for your project, not for other projects. So we will use this key in our Android project. So now go to our documentation, and here we have existing project configuration. So here we have to add few stuff in our project. So first of all, we have to add this metadata. So I will copy this and go to our Android Studio. So here we have to open our manifest and inside this application tag we have to paste it. And here we have to add the two permissions, internet permission and network state. So first of all we will add the permission. So here I will add the user's permission. And first one is internet permission and the second one is network permissions okay now again go to documentation and here we have to copy this user library and copy it and again go to android studio and under this metadata tag here we have to paste it here now again documentation and here we have to copy the google map services and paste it inside this build.gradle module file and click on sync now okay that's it for this video now our project is fully configured now when we need our api key we will add the api key in our manifest file so we will start it from next video if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section any suggestion any feedback you can give me in the comment section Please like my video, share my video and subscribe my channel. See you next video. Take care.